See how the butter just smoothly goes on like that? I'm back again today with another video and this time I'm doing something a little bit different. I am going to be cooking because you know that's obviously what we do on this channel but I'm also going to be going over a little bit about myself, my family history, what I ate growing up and what led me to cooking for you guys. I was actually born and raised here in Toronto, here in Toronto, Canada and both of my parents were actually born in Canada as well. So I'm actually second generation Canadian. What all of this really means is that I didn't exactly grow up eating a lot of Chinese food. I grew up eating a lot of mixed different cuisines. You know, living in Toronto, you get a whole multicultural perspective on everything because there's so many different, different foods here. So today we're going to dive into my Canadian background. <laughs> Growing up here in Canada, having breakfast with my parents and my family and we're gonna make something that my dad used to make me every single Sunday when I was a kid growing up and that's French toast. Here we are back in the lab, back in the kitchen again, making French toast. The first thing that you're gonna need for this recipe is obviously the bread. The bread is one of the most important parts of this recipe, making French toast, because, well, it's gonna be toast, so. <laughs> It's basically the whole and main ingredient. What I typically like to use is some kind of rye or whole wheat bread. Something that's like thick, a little bit more dry. The original reason why French toast came to be is because back in France, you know, they would have a loaf of bread and at the end of the week, by the weekend, they would have a few slices left. Something that's almost a little bit stale. And what else are you going to do with those few slices but, you know, make something of it. And that's how French toast really came to be. So they say that you should use a little bit stale bread, you know, something at the end of the week, just to finish it off and create something delicious. I like to use fresh bread, <laughs> just my personal preference, but they say you should use stale bread because that's a little bit better with the egg yolk. The other ingredient that we obviously have is our eggs. Um, depending on the size of your bread slice and how much egg that you really want to have on it. I would say between one and two eggs. So for instance, with this recipe, I'm gonna make two slices of French toast and I'll be using two eggs. A Little bit of milk or cream, some kind of dairy. Uh, I'm using almond milk. Like I, I only drink almond milk, so this is what I got. And I use this to thicken up the yolk uh, to make it a little bit more smooth, fluffy. Salt, obviously. And a little bit of butter. I'm gonna be adding this on the end when we flip our French toast and it'll be nice and hot in the pan so I can just smoothly apply on the butter. All right, so just again, looking at our ingredients, we got the bread, we got the eggs, milk or cream, salt, and butter. And of course, you're going to need a pan and oil. So, just like that. Just a little, just a little bit of oil. Medium heat. You don't want your stove to be too hot because then you're going to have a chance of like burning your French toast and not letting it cook properly. Medium heat's fine. It'll only take you a few minutes. So, obviously the first thing that I like to do is take out my slices of bread. Get that out of the way. <laughs> kind of messed up, I bought, I only have white right now. I told you guys that you shouldn't, shouldn't be using white, but here I am using white. <laughs> Two slices. And then we do the eggs. So, like I said, I'm gonna be using gonna be using two eggs. This one. That's two. 
that we have the two eggs, we're just gonna beat them, you know, lightly. So again, with the almond milk, just gonna add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, just like that, maybe more. Really just eyeing it out. Next, we're gonna add the salt. I always like to salt my eggs a little. So we're just waiting for the oil to get hot right now. But, you know, French toast is a really simple recipe. Something that all of you guys can do at home anytime during this quarantine. Uh, it's a fun recipe that I like to do. Uh, popular with kids, obviously, because it's super delicious. <laughs> but yeah, it's something that I really like making. Now that the oil is a little bit hot, we can start putting our bread in. What you want to do is you want to dip both sides of the bread into the egg and then lower it into your hot pan. So, we're going to do just that. Take our egg, our bread. To the pan. If you guys want to see it again, here we go. You see it? Just like that. And you might have a little bit of egg left over, like I said. Make some eggs. <laughs> Medium to high heat. These guys are in the pan. And we're cooking. We're cooking. So yeah. <laughs> One of the reasons why I like making, you know, this French toast so much is because of how easy it is to make. Really, it's just leftover bread, eggs, salt, a little bit of milk uh, or cream, which you should already have anyway, and just some butter, you know, to flavor it up. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes to make, one of the easiest ones I know how to make, and it reminds me of, you know, when my dad used to cook for me when I was a kid, so. Who knew French toast could look so good? <laughs> All right, and at this point, this is when I like to add a little bit more oil. And then I'll throw the eggs in. Just in the corner there. All right. And you might think, oh, I'm throwing raw eggs into my batter. Isn't that bad? And the answer is no. This is actually amazing. This is actually gonna taste like so good. And if I wasn't filming with one hand, <laughs> hold on. <clears throat> I gotta take hold of the situation going on with my pants. Take some of that, start sliding it all along. I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. The butter. Bring this down a little. Yeah. See how the butter just smoothly goes on like that? We're going to bring this over. Boom. All right. There you have it. French toast with eggs. Oh shoot, let me get the syrup.
I got a little bit of syrup. To be perfectly honest, actually no, I'll explain this later. Ah, all right, so we're finally here with our French toast and I can actually eat it. So let me just, you see this? You see, you see what happens when I get distracted? I just have two knives right now. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be back. That wasn't even, that wasn't even something like I did on purpose or planned like as a skit or something. I actually just grabbed two knives for some reason. Anyway, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, it's pretty good. You know, other than maybe like the syrup, which isn't like the best quality. I know that some of you who don't... <clears throat> some of you who don't live in Canada probably don't know too much about maple syrup. Um, this one's the most common amongst like school kids, you know, families, because you get a lot for really cheap, but you know, if you only spend a few dollars more, you can get like much, much better bottle, much, much better quality tasting maple syrup. Um, and it's not like you're drinking this every single day, like a shot or something like maple syrup is just meant to use as like a condiment to spread, you know, you're not drinking all the time. So it's definitely worth paying more for the maple syrup just to get a better bottle. Um, Another thing that people like to do with the French toast, and you'll see this in a lot of like restaurants, hotels, stuff like that, is white powder sugar where they just, you know, tap it, boom, boom, boom. And you get a nice spread on top, which I really like as well. But because, you know, I'm cheap and I just have what I have, I'm gonna be using syrup. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching my video today learning about my food history, <laughs> my upbringing here in Canada, and uh, a little bit about myself. I hope that you guys explore more of your own culture, your own upbringing, childhood, the food that you grew up with, and you know, really think about and celebrate these things, because sometimes we forget how special these foods and these cultures and these experiences are to us that they just seem normal because we grew up with them. But to other people on the outside looking in, they might have never seen this before. They might have never even seen like maple syrup, so I don't even know. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this food, talk about my culture, talk about myself. And I'll see you guys in the next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Just to show you guys like like how how Canadian my dad and my family is it's like for those of you who don't know what the symbol is the, uh, my dad's a big Habs fan.